Three reasons why you don't have a parachute on commercial flights, part two. So let's start with panic. Most of us don't even pay attention to the safety instruction before takeoff. In an emergency, keeping everyone calm is a massive challenge. Adding parachute to the mix would only make things worse. Reason two is all about gear. It's not only about having a parachute on your back. You also need a helmet and an altimeter on your arm. Oh, and if you have any malfunction, do you know how to open the reserve parachute? I don't think so. Or if you end up in a lake, do you know how to deal with this kind of situation? Or maybe you spot a sunflower field and you think it's a good idea to land there. Spoiler, none of those are good ideas and you should avoid them. Do you know the exact moment when you have to jump? Usually the best thing to do is when the plane is cruising. So at around 12,000 meters or 13,000 feet. But most of the time, airplanes have problems during takeoff or landing. And in that case, you don't have enough altitude to open the parachute. You don't have time to do anything, basically.